Hi everyone, just completed week 20 here at Lambda School. We did the Lambda MUD uh, week-long project this week where we had a back-end uh, half built out for us and then we had to construct a completely new front-end and basically connect the app together to make a full-stack application. So most of the back-end was already built out and it was written in Python and Django and the classes and the methods were already built out. We did have to implement an extra method to make it work, but um, after you finish the backend, you would deploy it to Heroku and so that other players can connect to it. For the front end, most of the people in my cohort implemented React. Uh, it was easy, it's what we're familiar with. Um, I didn't really see any other, um, other frameworks. Um, we do have some iOS students in our class, so they did use Swift, uh, which was interesting to see because I haven't really um, got to see the whole um, language before. So that was uh, cool to see during presentations. And then the project itself was not too difficult. It's more of just understanding the code that was pre-written for you and then learning how to pull out certain things or cherry pick certain things that you would need to use. And then part of the code was also learning how to set up API endpoints with Django. So whether it's a GET request or a POST request, you would have to target the right address and then return back the correct information so that the front end can receive that information to display, right? So for the front end, I use React and we um, could build it any way we like. We could put as much effort into the UI as we want, but the main feature was just to have information be displayed. And people did it a variety of different ways. Uh, people would update a certain screen and just keep updating that. I kept kind of a log of what's going on. So like if users were to move to a different room or to say a message or see other people coming into the room, you would see all these in a chat log, all these messages. And then it just kind of scrolls down as you move along. So a typical text-based game is kind of what I did. And for some of the APIs that we use, I use uh, Axios, Style Components, um, Web Font Loader, just to name a few. And then we were also introduced to a new API called Pusher. Pusher is more like an event-driven API where if you have a chat messaging system, that's a really good example of it, where if you send a message to someone, they instantly receive that message. It pushes that right away. And if the user responds back, you also get that message. So this is for purposes where you need instant um, communication, unlike, say, um, Axios calls or uh, you know JSON calls, a Ajax calls, those sort of things. So got that working all right. And um, one of the main features that we had to implement was called Say, one of the basic features, which is where if both players are in a room, they would have to... If one player says a message, the other player can also see it, but it's restricted to only people in that room. And then for a stretch goal or extra bonus points, if you will, you can write a shout feature, which uh, messages everyone in the whole world, in the whole game, and also a whisper feature, which you can directly target a certain player and the message matches them privately. So. There's a whole bunch of other features, a whole bunch of different ways you can build this app out, but that was it for the most part. I would say this project was hard only because it's working with Python and Django, but the full stack idea, um, I have uh, pretty good knowledge of that, so it was easy to build out in that aspect. And for lecture, we only had Q&A sessions mostly. There were also two talks where Bij, one of the instructors, talked about WebAssembly and Git and GitHub. So that was interesting. I did not get a chance to see it yet. So I'm hoping to watch it here over the weekend and over break. And that pretty much covers the week for the most part. Yesterday, we just completed our presentations. Um, and then uh, today's Friday, which we have off, which is usually what happens after project week. And so I'm just really excited for winter break here. And so going to take some time and learn some more new materials like GraphQL and review Node and possibly upgrade this uh, game that we just worked on, this Lambda Mud game. 
So that's it for me here, and I hope you guys have a great week, ha have a great Christmas, and happy holidays to you guys, and uh, hit me up if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. See you later.